Hi everyone, welcome back to Novel Nomad and welcome to Japan for Book Lovers. This is going to be a countdown from 8 to 1 of my favorite bookstores and bookish places that I've visited in Japan. We're starting here in Jimbocho in Tokyo, in the center of Tokyo, which is otherwise known as Book Town. The amount of bookstores and antique stores here is absolutely astounding. I utterly recommend. But we're starting at number eight with the Paperback Cafe. This was such a fun and beautiful store to visit. It had such an amazing concept behind the design of the store, which is called the Worship of Mankind. So each floor is divided into the, the mind, the act, and the future. So all the actual subjects or genres are divided into those different categories and how they impact mankind's development. I just thought it was such a clever design and to see it being executed in like a physical concept, that was utterly amazing. Now unfortunately I didn't find that many English literature books there or English fiction books, but I still recommend going because just the design and just the, the layout itself is utterly beautiful. I highly recommend, you have to see this store. Coming in at number seven is Ayatoya, which is in Ginza in Tokyo. This is an absolute heaven for paper lovers. If you love writing, you can get high craft quality pens, uh, notepads, books, things get engraved. The postcards and letters you can actually send from the store and they have personalized stamps. It is just utterly beautiful. If you love stationery, if you love craft, if you love high quality things, you must see Aitoya. And for all you other nomads out there, they actually have a section called Nomad's Nook, which you can find bespoke travel items for your travel essentials. They also have Tsukeo Paper, which has been a paper firm in Japan since 1899. Coming in at number six is Sutaya Books. This is at the Daikanyama Tea Site, which is Disney Meguro, and it is absolutely beautiful, a very modern complex store. And the theme of this store is a library in the woods. There's movies, there's books, there's a cafe. It's just a really interesting complex. They had a limited selection of foreign books, but they were wonderful quality and excellent selection of Japanese literature there as well. We're at number five, and that is Loft. This is located in Shibuya in Tokyo and this was such a fun store. I love writing letters to all my wonderful friends around the world and what I love to do and put in letters is stickers and the amount of stickers they had here was so amazing. I came away with so many fun little stickers and some of them are so weird, it's absolutely hilarious. But I absolutely loved Loft, it was so much fun to explore. Join me for number four in my selection, which is Kinokuniya Books. I went to the Shibuya and the Shinjuku stores. I highly recommend the Shinjuku stores. I just couldn't get a very good video there because they were currently doing a bit of construction. But this is the Shibuya store and it was so much fun. They had such a huge selection of foreign books. Now, I basically went to Japan to get some books that have been translated into English from Japanese authors and writers and I found such a wonderful selection here but of course I'm going through some of the classic titles that I've read and the ones I was recommending to my friend who was doing the camera for this instance but I definitely recommend check out the Shinjuku store though it was really excellent but there's so many wonderful titles to choose from. Place for number three, we are in Meguro, Tokyo, and we're visiting Cow's Books. This is actually an independent store that stocks mainly secondhand books. There's a lot of Japanese titles, 
but they have some really fascinating English titles as well. Some of them were published in the 60s as some unique limited edition hardcovers. It is just worth it checking out because it's such an amazing little store. So much to offer. Well, this is it. We're down to the final two. And number two is none other than Maruzen. Maruzen is probably the only store, well, bookstore that is, I've visited in Kyoto, but it is absolutely breathtaking. You go down the escalators and the first floor is a stationary store, so you can catch up on all those little stationary goodies that you didn't get in Tokyo. But then you go down into the absolutely amazing bookstore on the bottom level. There is so, so many English literature books here. It was absolutely amazing and the selection of Japanese literature was beautiful. Now, Marozen is quite a famous bookstore in Kyoto. It has such a history behind it. And I just recommend going just to find that absolute peace and calm you can get only in a bookstore. I did not get to eat the famous lemon cake that is sold at the Marozen Cafe. It is famous because it was written into a very well-known poet or author's book that is in Japanese. But I definitely took a little sneaky picture of the lemon cake itself just so you can see what you can try when you go there we are at number one and that is book and bed if you haven't already heard about book and bed it is a hostel in tokyo there are a few so don't worry if you can't get into the one that i stayed at in ikabukuro but it's a hostel where you get to sleep amongst the bookshelves that's right your bunk is in the bookshelves itself I got to have a top bunk, so I got to climb up the ladder and into the bookshelf proper. But it is so much fun. You get a safe, of course, to protect all your belongings. But upon arrival, you get bed linens and a book. How awesome is that? And then you get a lamp to read by, of course. So much reading is to be had. They have such a wide variety of books to choose from. Now, they're not really for sale. It's more like a library where you get to rest and enjoy reading after spending a day being a tourist in Tokyo. Now they have some absolutely amazing books to choose from. I'm going to show you a few of my favorites that I found amongst the shelves, especially this one. Tokyo Totem was such an amazing tourist book and I learned so much about the culture in Tokyo. But I'll leave you with a few of my favorites. So there you have it, my top 8 recommendations for book lovers in Japan. If you've been to Japan and have a recommendation for me, let me know down below. I'd love some more recommendations. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Happy adventuring and happy reading. Bye.